Jan, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I think I should Great. disclose to the audience that I've known you for a very long time. Yes. <laughs> and you live in Omaha basis. now. I am in Omaha, Nebraska. Yes, I am. And it's really, um, how, uh, what is the population out there? Um, probably about a half a million, I think. Yeah, I don't well know. You're 600, in a, you know, populated 600, area. 000. It's not bad. It's not too many. It's, it's, it's about right. But still, we get, we get one of everything. Different than being one in the opera. city. How do you uh, how do you find yourself dealing with the? Do you feel the effects of getting older already, or are you still feeling like a teenager? How's it going? Well, in my head, in my heart, I'm still a teenager. Of course. But in my in my knees, my ankles, and my back, not so much. Um, it's. Uh, I, I'm a, I've been a nurse for 39 years now, and, and uh, I've brought along a lot of young nurses, and it's a little harder to keep up. It's, uh, it's a little harder to do everything at work. So. Yeah. Um, and how do girls out in the Midwest handle getting a couple of wrinkles? Are they doing a lot of cosmetic procedures? Uh, it's available. It's uh, widely available. We're a, a very medically oriented community here, and so uh, there is a lot of opportunity for cosmetic work. Uh, a lot of people I know are doing it, um, men as well as women. It's not just the gals that are going for it, so kind of more of an equal opportunity thing. But not um, those are more people that are in social eyes, in politics, and in um, a lot of theater and, and uh, broadcasting. Mm -hmm. um, what are the procedures that you hear of normally that the girls get? Oh, gosh. There's always the chemical peels and the Botox and the, the little suction of this and a little tuck of that. And um, yeah, it just, it, instead of going for the big overhaul, they tend to just go piecemeal. You know, they'll focus on the eye sag or the wrinkles in the corner of the eye or the mouth Something and, that's bothering and go them. for those. So. Mm. What about um, salon services? So a lot of this is uh, kind of a specialized salon service? Mm. A lot of the salon services are more uh, the, the um, tanning and the hair removal type stuff. Uh, the procedures are pretty medically oriented out here. So... Um, unless you're doing laser work, then they'll have a, a different practitioner doing it. But Yeah, um, you're, most you're of the uh, really hooked up in the medical community, so you're aware of what people are doing. Yes, yes, that is true, and I'm aware of what doesn't work very well, and uh, I haven't gotten to the point where I feel like I need to jump on the bandwagon there, but I've never been so much on that. And how do how is the job market for the people who are say 45 to 55 years old? Um, I think it really depends on what you're looking for. There is being in the center of the country, we are um, we have a lot of agricultural work that buffers us from a lot of the banking. We have big insurance, big banking. Telecenters are huge out in Omaha because we're right in the center of the country. So there's a lot of things that people can do that are not a um, dependent on your on your face. Excuse me. Well, how do the here? Uh, what we find is the employers don't really want to hire you if you're over 40 or 45 because they figure that you're not going to make retirement, or they don't want you to make retirement. Um, Especially, and they're retiring people early, like at 50. You find yourself in a situation where they're downsizing and suddenly you're out of a job um, because they don't want you to get to the point that you can make your retirement. So are you finding that same kind of thing going on there? People are um, being hired and, and put into part-time status. So. It, it definitely is a problem, and, and of course the, the standing joke is I can go be a greeter at a box store if I am not uh, a productive older person. So 
So, um, but yeah, I think we we have the same problem here. It's just our economy is a little more diverse, so we aren't hit quite so um, so, so dramatically. If people want to work, it's here for them. Yes, there's nothing like being interviewed by someone who's 25 years old. <laughs> Isn't that where you look over the top of your glasses at them and think, oh, aren't you cute? Um, I don't yeah. know. It's, it's, uh, there's, a lot, there's a lot of really exciting stuff that, that young people have to offer, and I get really, um, you know, my oldest daughter's 28, uh, and my uh, second daughter is 27. There is nothing more invigorating than to have everybody at the dinner table because we have awesome discussions about all kinds of things from politics to social um, issues, and uh, the opinions are breaths of fresh air, but sometimes I think they need to get tempered with a little bit of wisdom. Oh, yes. Well, you know, there's so little.